Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have another Noodler's ink to try out. This is another black ink, and I was completely unaware of the existence of this ink until one of my subscribers, my viewers, actually commented under one of my videos and told me this ink existed. So this is from Wonder Pens. It's an exclusive from Noodler's Inc. through their company. And it is called The Raven Forevermore. And actually, I am not a huge Poe fan, believe it or not. I'm from Virginia. But Poe was never really my thing. And there's actually a teeny little bit of a story to that. So I never thought he was as ridiculous and dreary of a person as told. I mean, it just seemed a little too much to me based on what he'd actually written and just it seemed like the stories that I was told about him or were deemed historically correct were a little too over the top. So a few years ago it was actually discovered, or at least we think it was discovered, that it was in fact a big publicity stunt. Most of the of what we've heard about Poe was just from his publicist. So I felt better about it after that and actually revisited a lot of Poe's poetry and liked it a lot more after that. I just I felt like there was some kind of ridiculousness there that I wasn't, it wasn't resolving in my head. So uh, after hearing that, I was like, okay, so what I'm thinking might be a little bit more accurate than what people are trying to tell me. Okay. So yeah, I, I do read his poetry a little more often. I do have favorite poets, but I'm not big on poetry overall. So anyway, that was a little bit of a longer story than I thought, but so this is Noodler's The Raven Forevermore. And let's see if we can see that little bit there. It says from New England to Canada. So this is a Canadian exclusive from Wonder Pens. And I think it's hilarious that it had to go from New England to Canada to Virginia, but I have it. I can't wait to try it another black. I mean, who, I just didn't know Noodlers had so many blacks and I guess I'm just going to collect them all. So I will be using my Briolette from Banu. This is the storm color. So it's a black with a white to clear glitter going on there. I like this. I actually bought this specifically for one purse that I carry in the winter and it's a swan purse and it has these colors to it. So I don't use it as much in the summer and in the spring, but I still keep it inked and still use it. It just kind of stays on my desk as opposed to me carrying it around as much. So I will shake this up as best I can. Noodler's ink, they fill all the way up to the top. So it's a little more difficult to get it shaken well, but they give you plenty of ink. Ah, okay, that was that was almost disastrous. Okay. Almost overflowed the ink there. And let me grab a paper towel. So I actually don't know the attributes of this ink. I'm not sure they were listed. I'll have to check on that. I kind of wanted to be surprised a little bit as to what the ink would do because I feel like I always research extensively before I buy something and this was just kind of a fun like I just want to see what this is purchase. Alright, so before I write with the pen, I'm actually going to go ahead and swab the ink so that can be drying. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a gray tone to it. That's really pretty. Hmm. 
I like it. Let's see. Show it up close. I do actually really like it. It's a nice grayed black. So the Raven Forevermore, I think the, the name is really cute. This is a medium nib, yes. Had to remember, but yeah. Medium steel nib from Benu, very comfortable. I really like this pen, it's smaller but uh, still fits in my hand quite well. I typically use it just to write checks, keep it in my pocketbook, but I will write with some like fairly longer writing sessions with it and it's very comfortable. It is not postable, but that length is fine for my hand. Okay, I really like this black like a lot, a lot more than I was expecting to. Like I, I can't love this ink but so much since it's an, it's an exclusive from Canada. I mean, uh, but it's a good black. Wow, I really like that. Hmm. Oh man, do I have another one in the running to potentially beat Dark Matter? Mm, that's really nice. I like that a lot. I know several people in my pen friend group who would probably absolutely adore having that tone to write with all of the time. I really like that. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry a little bit and come back to it. This just feels like a particularly elegant black. Very lovely. I was just thinking, I think I will turn back a few pages to my Noodler's black comparisons. Here they are. I've been kind of filling in as I get new blacks. This was the Texas Black Bat. And let's see, where can I stick it in? Maybe. Let's put it in between Heart of Darkness and Dark Matter. Hmm. That's a pretty good looking black. more. Wonder Pens exclusive. And I'm going to let that dry and take a look at that. That is all but dried. It almost looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it. it I'm assuming it does not. It just kind of has a little bit of variation. Right in there. Kind of looks like Raven Wings. Really neat ink. That is a cool black. Okay. I'm definitely liking it more than I had anticipated.
Quoth the Raven, Nevermore. Yes, I really do like this black. I need to stop buying black inks. I'm not going to know what to do with myself after a while. I'm going to have such a collection of black inks. Yeah, I stand by this as being a really elegant black. This is very lovely. It's just, just a little different than what I'm used to seeing. So, yet another black ink in my collection that I just might be completely obsessed with. So thank you so much for commenting and telling me about this ink because I have a feeling I'm going to be enjoying this for a while. Have you tried this ink? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching.